Anyone who has been around the Burnt Hills Boston Lake School District for even a short time has heard the phrase, the Burnt Hills Way. It's said with pride and conviction. It is often spoken with a smile. For those of us who have become a part of BHBL, it captures the essence of what makes this school district so special. I graduated in 72. This is my granddaughter, Avery, and she will graduate in 2022. Um, I've been in the school system uh, since we moved to this district uh, back when I was in third grade. And uh, I've been here ever since and came back as a teacher in this district. I'm very proud to say that my daughter graduated 25 years after I did from Burn Hills and her daughter 50 years after I did from <laughs> Burn Hills. So we kindly are a Burnt Hills family. The Burnt Hills Way, at its very basic level, involves parents, community members, teachers, and school leaders committing to work together to create a greater opportunity for our children. It all started as one-room schoolhouses began to dot the countryside as early as the late 1700s. Schools served students through eighth grade and were located within walking distance of their homes and farms like this school in Charlton, in Boston, and in Glenville. For education beyond eighth grade, parents sent their children by train or trolley to schools in Saratoga Springs or Schenectady. In 1914, the state legislature passed an act to help these tiny individual school districts. The Central School Act permitted the consolidation of rural schools to form consolidated districts. On September 22, 1915, Boston Schools number 1 and number 11, together with Clifton Park School number 8, consolidated to form the Burnt Hills School of Agriculture and Homemaking. Over the next 30 years, a total of 17 small schools representing portions of the towns of Charlton, Boston, Clifton Park, and Glenville were consolidated into what ultimately became the Burnt Hills Boston Lake Central School District. The district started with just 48 students in 1915. It grew steadily through the 1940s, experienced explosive growth in the 50s and 60s, hit a high point of 5,500 students in 1970. Since 1985, it has settled in between 3,000 and 3,500. In 1916, the district built its first K-12 building on Lake Hill Road. After a fire destroyed a portion of the building in 1930, a new expanded building was completed in 1931 that would eventually become the current Stevens Elementary School. Pashley School opened in 1951 to serve the rapid growth in the town of Glenville. Our current high school was completed in 1954. To further accommodate this rapid population growth, Charlton Heights Elementary School and Glenhaven Elementary School, now known as the Hostetter Administrative Building, came online together in 1958. Students first moved into the newly built junior high, now O'Rourke Middle School, in 1961. And through the years, for 100 years, the Burnt Hills Way has flourished. The school district blends the values of small town life, of family and community, with the sophistication of a 21st century education. This has been accomplished in large part through parents, community members, and civic leaders who have volunteered their time to help our students. When I think of the word Burnt Hills, I think of a strong community. I think of passion and spirit, and I think of just um, people coming together to do what's best for the kids. Everybody here has a really big heart for everybody. Everybody's always included, there's no bullying, and everybody's just kind of like a big family. We have a great community here, and I don't think there's one person in this whole entire school that doesn't feel safe here and isn't, is, isn't worried about coming here, and everyone here is happy here, and. That's a big part of it. This is kind of the security of the school. It was just a community feeling. You just had family, family feeling is what it was. We all, well, school was the centerpiece of our community. 
When I think of Bright Hills, I think of like dedication. Like everyone in this community is dedicated to making it what it is. And I think every single person plays a role in why Burnt Hills is Burnt Hills. I was adopted at age eight. So this was my first um, community that I was entered to, like a school community. And I came from Ethiopia. So I had to learn English and everything and I did it all here and I was so welcomed and it felt like a giant like family and it was great. Um, we're here to help and I think that becomes apparent very obvious very soon. It's a great place to be. Our district offers a comprehensive education from kindergarten through 12th grade. We prepare our students for the best colleges and career opportunities in the world. At the heart of our academic program is the commitment that our teachers have to our students. True to the Burn Hills way, teachers and school leaders partner in a relationship of trust and sharing to make decisions that are best for students. Everyone here is for the students and staff members and teachers alike really try to connect with kids and try to bring out what's the best in them and try to make them feel like they are part of something even bigger and you can see that with bus drivers bus drivers welcome you every day my bus driver would actually let us wait in the house and would honk the horn and wait for us to come outside they're nice to the kids they teach so the kids understand what they're trying to teach and like they have a lot of just fun doing it. I developed many friendships. I had excellent teachers who really helped form what my life further on. It's such a wonderful area to grow up in. The teachers that I had elementary school all through high school worked with me I can name literally each and every one of my teachers that I had all the way through and it's because they took the time to help me, to show me that I could succeed. Some things came easier for me, other subjects were you know, more difficult um, and I think that those lessons that I learned are the lessons that I'm attempting to pay forward to my present students and my future students. As well. What I see um, that's the same for when I was in school um, is there's still the same commitment of teachers, the same type of students, they're, they're um, very involved. What I see as a, as a change is there's many more opportunities now for students, to, avenues for students to pursue, um, especially for um, girls like my granddaughter Avery. I feel here at Burnt Hills especially that I'm pushed to the point where I'm making the best of my education but I also feel close to the teachers and I can go to them with anything. But she was my first teacher here and she was so welcoming and always smiling and she was just a great teacher like she was always laughing and keeping everyone in a great mood and wasn't so strict and she was so accepting and made you like want to be yourself and like show her who you really are and it was great. Students not only study English, math, social studies, and science, but from an early age have the opportunity to explore a variety of disciplines such as foreign languages, health and physical education, computer science, robotics, engineering, business, construction, and culinary arts. So I'm in um, a program called Science Research. And I'm doing individual research on my own with the, with the researcher for uh, Ortho New York. And that's what I want to do. It's my passion. And they give me that opportunity to do that. In my future, I hope to be part of the medical field. I got a chance to be part of an internship this year at Burnt Hills where I got to go intern at a hospital and see how that is. So that definitely helped me decide what I wanted to go into and pursue in my future really academically, athletically, extracurricularly, there's more opportunities here than you'll find within 100 miles. And I'm serious about that. Take advantage of the AP courses, the university and the high school courses, the business courses. I don't know 
a school that has as many business classes or teachers here that you can take advantage of. And um, you know, you got everything from computer science to technology. We're getting renovations in the next couple of years and it's just going to be really great. There are a lot of teachers who will not just focus on pounding in information to get you to learn for the test, but they'll also help you grow as a person and learn more overall. And it's a facilitated a lot of times by great classroom discussions among the students, and it leads to us all learning and growing and figuring out who we are. I came into my sophomore and junior year thinking that I would study business management, financial management, sports management, something along those lines. And Junior year I took AP Physics and senior year I'm taking AP Calculus and those two courses are something that I did well in and that I really loved. So it gave me the opportunity to say maybe engineering is something I want to focus on. And so now going into college I'm thinking about studying engineering. The arts have a special place in the student experience at BHBL. As early as 1928, students were instrumental in starting their own glee club and orchestra. From these beginnings, art, music, and drama continued to grow and embed themselves into the fabric of the school community. The seeds of our music and art program, sown 100 years ago, have blossomed into a robust program of creativity, expanded opportunities, and excellence. I had many um, wonderful teachers, especially in high school, who stressed the arts with music and, and drama. But I've also learned how to deal with people and to be on stage uh, through theater and our drama club. And that's given me the confidence to be able to be in front of people and talk to people without any issues. Standing firmly on the past, we build toward the future. In October of 2013, the Burn Hills community approved a $34 million construction project that will bring exciting enhancements to our facilities. As we celebrate our 100th anniversary, we will open Centennial Field, a multi-purpose athletic complex at the site of the former football field. Athletics and extracurricular activities have always been an integral part of the Burn Hills Way. Again, the key is partnership. Partnerships between supportive community and recreational teams and disciplined, well-coached school athletic programs create a synergy that results in success. In all my sports, I'm a leader on the field, and the teachers have really taught me that being a good leader in school will have you be a leader throughout your life. Regarding the sports program at the school, I think what it does for kids, it, it, it uh, increases their self-esteem, it uh, develops team play, it develops sportsmanship, and certainly integrity. And it will, you know, they will benefit from this from when they leave school right on through their life. And we've had excellent, excellent sports programs. I run cross country um, and track, and they come to meets. Even though they don't have kids on the team or don't really know anyone on the team, they want to see us do well outside of the school and want to cheer for us in our extracurriculars. Being on the football team, I've learned a lot of things. You know, that's one of the things that the coaches try and instill, instill in us is respect, obviously, is number one that you have to respect your equipment, respect your team, respect the community, respect the other players, respect the other team, respect the officials. Respect is a crucial, you know, plays a crucial role in everything that we do when we put opera on that field. The Burnt Hills Boston Lake Central School District, formed out of 17 small local schools, is still a leader in achieving excellence in education through academics, arts, and athletics. BHBL is poised to stay the course for another century and prepare the next generation for what is ahead. I would just like to say that I am so thankful that I was lucky enough to go to Burn Hills, Boston Lake Central School. It has, from the very beginning, I think it has been developed many, many oh, good things. 
it, it really is different. You know, I have experience in other areas, and what we have going on here is, is truly unique. You know, one of the other students said he thinks it's the, the best, you know, school in upstate New York. I, I would say it is the best school, period. It really is, you know, it really is. Parents, community members, teachers, and school leaders committing to work together to create greater opportunity for our children. That is the Burnhills Hills way.